Pig for Life coming to you live from um, TFCon 2017 in Toronto. This is another quick look and review of a convention exclusive. This is from Ocular Max, their Perfection Series, PS06R Terra Aegis Rally, the Defensive Strategist. Uh, this is a custom design which is based off the Diaclone, which I don't know that much about. It's the yellow version of um, Trailbreaker. But it's based off of the rally car version, which I guess some French team uh, used, which is why it doesn't have the same kind of original back as Trailbreaker. It actually has kind of a rally car look. And the design itself is really heavily inspired by that, not just the, the overall uh, alt mode, but also the decorations and everything. It is a custom designed by Botu Country, uh, Boris of Ages 3 and Up, of Ages 3 and Up fame. Up on here, you have a really nice box. This entire box and even the decals were designed by um, by Chogo King. So hopefully, he gets he gets uh, the recognition he deserves for all this cool stuff that he did. Not only does it have like the design, but all these logos are either logos of um, part of the Ocular Max kind of family or uh, fake brands that are based off of the decals on the original French rally car. On the side here, you get some artwork from Chugo King again in his robot mode on both sides. On the back, you get a really nice a view of the alt mode in a, in, in, in a piece of artwork. And you can see all the decals along the side. You get kind of the G1 spec um, all the way around here. And then on the bottom, additional information about the warnings, but also talking about the actual um, parts of the car like the engine core, the winch steel cable, the bull bar, the power lights, laser laser proof, I don't know, I guess laser proofing, special alloy, um, and armored tire. So very really nicely designed boxes um, and just inserts in general. And again if you open up the box on the flap you get a lot of recognition for the team. So you're going to get the designer, uh, AK, the sculpt by Jessalyn Bell. Uh, packaging and artwork by Chico King, who I met mentioned before. Photographs by Ian Reed and Unem Studi Studios. Video and manual by me, which is awesome. Powered by Mastermind Creations, Bo2, uh, Team, Boris Chow, Chris Sun, and Scott Packman. So out of packaging, Terry Aegis Rally comes with a lot of the same stuff that we got from the original Terry Aegis. We got the instructions. We have his stack card here. Newly rendered with the yellow design. And the stats on the back. His instructions um, are newly updated. There are some steps, key steps that they missed. So I'm going to make sure that you guys are aware of that. And again, on the back, they do give credit to the Ocular Max team. Uh, he does have the accessories needed to form the arm cannon. There's force field generator and the two stems that you can use to either mount on the back of the neck or on the shoulder depending on your desire. And then the two shoulder cannons, which will sep separate to form the blasters. These little small pieces that are clips that actually house the back piece of the, the blasters once you tr transform it into a arm cannon. Extra side view mirrors. So these were areas where a lot of people had breakages early on with Terra Aegis. So they included extras of these, which is nice. And in addition to the original face, we have the Terra Aegis face. Again, in the yellow and nice shiny yellow, uh, shiny blue eyes. Lastly, he does come with the little translucent red uh, kind of cellophane plastic that you can use with the box to see the stats, a la the G1 toy. All right, so a lot of the same things that we got here before. Uh, some of the other things that you do get that are not um, quote unquote accessories, but are actually part of the new design are the newly engineered backpack. So the backpack features very similar to the hoist design, um, but it actually features some extra stuff. It has a new hinge here that holds the wheel in place. The wheel is an extra spare wheel that it can come undone and is on a swivel here. So you can just peg that in. And it is a rubber tire like the rest, so it's just a recreation of the others. And you just fold that up to hold it in place. Uh, the other addition is the front grill. The grill itself is a new kind of add-on. You just 
peg it into the front grill here. It's with friction, holds on pretty well, and it actually has a couple of extra pieces of articulation that are going to be used predominantly for transformation. So the the winch hook is articulated. Uh, this these two pieces on the side will fold in for transformation, and actually a really clever hidden hinge is this one here. The the winch will go up to reveal the peg holes that you'll need for um, chest pegging in transformation for robot mode, which I totally missed the first time. I actually had to ask the team how to do it in a, a series of phone calls and it took about an hour to actually figure out how that's done. But once you actually see it, it, it makes a lot of sense. It's really well engineered. Um, overall, the alt mode itself looks really nice. Again, it's based off the Diaclone design primarily, but also off the rally car, the French rally car version so not only in like the color but also all these decals or not decals decorations on the side are all either shout outs to parts of the ocular max mmc team or are modifications or, or fake brands based off of um you know like feral rex here or sphinx or azaleas on this side terra ages on, on this side and the members of the team being like chugo king chugo kings logo here who did all the box design and all the designs for the decos on the side here's my logo that they included which i very much appreciate very small but also designed by chugo king i'm not really sure what the k66 is for but um, there's one there there's one for jesselin bell ox rally shock what, what else that botu country this mmc is a uh, kind of stylized to mimic one of the original sponsors of the rally car uh unem we also have Ages 3 and Up, Skiing Penguin, which is obviously their logo. On this side here, we have Azalea, uh, and I think more of the same. Let's see if I missed anything. Oh, Feral Rex, uh, RMX Fuhrer, which is their upcoming Rumble Frenzy, I think, mold. And again, over here as well. So really cool. Oh, well, sorry. On the front here, on the, the add-on, you have Hard Returns um, logo. His little samurai, like, cliff jumper kind of head sculpt and AK, who is the designer for most of the Ocular Max designs. So really well done. Uh, I'm really impressed. The color itself is kind of surprising. It's more of a mustard yellow than a, a shiny yellow, um, which took me by surprise, but I actually quite like it. So it's more of a matte color. Um, they also did some tiny changes to like the windshield. The windshield is kind of smoked out, which is cool. And even on the side mirrors, uh, side uh, windows, you have painted on netting like the rally cars so a lot of intricate details uh, that they put into this design not just in the re-engineering um the yellow on the, the the windshield is a little bit off but not as bad as the terra ages that uh, a lot of people complained about so i wouldn't worry about that too too much so i'm not going to do transformation both ways but i do want to do one way to show you some of the things that are unique uh, especially with this front grill piece so starting off we're going to go ahead and uh, deal with the wheels. We're just going to collapse the wheels up as before. Then on the backpack, the way I do it is I kind of come to the sides here and give it a little bit of a squeeze to release these three sets of tabs here. And then these three sets of tabs on the other side. There we go. And then it lifts up on a double hinge. Uh, sometimes this hinge, this tab back here gets a little stuck. So just pull that out. It's a little part on the crotch here. In any case, you just want to get that double hinge all the way up and out of the way for now. Next, we're going to come to the sides. You're going to give a little push on the, the, the door and that will separate it from the front part of the wheel well. Bring this down. We're going to straighten out the lower leg so it's in an L shape. Um, the first thing I like to do so I don't damage it is I always go ahead and fold in the side view mirror as soon as possible. Then we're going to go ahead and release this section, pulling up the side rail. And again, you're going to want to get it into kind of a, a bent knee position like this. It's kind of like an L on the, the upper joint. Oh, I'm sorry, the lower, the lower knee joint. Flip out this tab. Here we're going to deal with the the back of the foot or the the foot and then the back wheel you're going to go ahead and slide this into this section like so then we can go ahead and fold this down and then straighten the entire knee out and tab in that knee tab uh, i think i mentioned it before but 
because this figure is almost 100% painted, as far as I can tell, it's that maybe some of the red sections, some of the yellow, uh, a lot of the tolerances are much tighter, which are nice. And then lastly, you're going to go fold this rail into the back to, that holds the, the back leg assembly in and keeps it tabbed in there. So same thing on the other side, we'll go ahead and push on the door, release the wheel, uh, the, release the uh, front wheel section quarter, straighten out the leg like so, and then get this section down like that. Release the toe, get the back wheel hidden in, flip open this tab, and straighten everything out. And with that, we have most of the left leg done. Uh, the last part again being just closing up the shin piece, which is the little sliding joint. There we go. And then we have the lower body predominantly done. You just want to fold this crotch piece down. So let me flip up the camera so you can see the upper body. So the upper body works the same way as before, predominantly just pull up the arms, split them in half, and bring them out to the side. Um, at this point, I'd like to deal with the roof. Just go ahead and unpeg that here, get the head out, and then when you flip the arms in, you'll see that the side windows will fold on behind the head. Once you have that done, bring the chest all the way down to the front. And this is where it gets interesting. Uh, so I mentioned before, you can actually keep this grill or winch on. Um, so what you want to do is flip up the winch like this all the way up 180 degrees and then fold down these two side grill pieces. Sorry, coming slightly unpegged. Yes, yeah, so you just need to go like this. And when you actually close the upper body, you'll see it goes right around the spine. Um, speaking of which, you can go ahead and collapse the spine now, like so. Push in on the grill. And those two tabs that used to go into the silver part of the grill before will still go into the same place, but that opening that was um, made by lifting up the winch will give you that extra room to go ahead and tab in. Let's see, it's kind of hard to see back here. But there we go. So once you have that pegged in, you go ahead and come up to the upper body and peg this in as normal. There we go. And these two tabs. Now we're pretty much done. We're just going to straighten out the arms, pull out the hands, which are still a little bit tough. Just be careful when you bring that out. Like so. Same thing with the other hand. Straighten it out. Pull out the, the hand on this side and should tab into place. Oh, sorry, I forgot to collapse this part. And then the backpack, so the, the roof will be on a double hinge. You want to lift that up and sit that flat. And then you'll see the two tabs that go into the die cast spine. And that will tab into place. Uh, they don't mention this in the instructions, but if you want, you can actually flip in the two headlights to have a little bit of a smoother back, but um, I guess the official transformation is just to keep it there, but you can do it either way, whichever way you'd like. And with that, you have Terra Aegis Rally in robot mode. As before, you can make use of the blasters in various ways. You can have either fold this up and have it tabbed in there we go. Or you can go ahead and separate the two halves. Um, one thing to note that it, appear, it appears that through the manufacturing process that they um, had too much chroming. So just be very, very careful when you separate this back piece. Uh, they recommended using maybe a flathead screwdriver to just kind of nudge it out your first time to get it out. But yeah, it's, it's pretty tight. So don't twist it, uh, kind of pull it straight out to release it. Let's see if I can get this one out. See, you can see the chrome rubbed off on this section here. Um, so yeah, they wanted to make sure that everyone knew this because it is a, a, a really fine point um, that they wanted to make because it could be damaging to your figure. So once you have that off though, you go ahead and plug it into the 
arm piece here, the additional arm piece, go ahead and collapse the one of the fists the way you would normally for transformation and just clip that on. So you have that there, shoulder cannon. If you want, you can take this force field generator and plug it into this piece that plugs into the little peg on the back to have it above the head kind of display. Or alternative, alternatively, you can go ahead and flip this, this section back to reveal a little rectangular tab and you can plug this one in like so and you can get rid of this one pop this one on this ball joint um, as before you do have slight, slightly different options with the chest you can keep it out wide which I kind of prefer for tear ages or you can go ahead and squish it in it's on a hinge at the top here which allows you to have a little bit more of a narrow uh, more muscular look Go ahead and take this spare piece and put it on this clip and then you can clip it onto like this section of the arm if you wanted. Um, and I don't think it, I don't think they have any storage on the backpack like they did um, before but you can go ahead and just clip it on here or you can just put it off the side whatever you want. Lastly he does have the alternate head. Um, the way you assemble this is basically taking off the old head with Phillips head and then you can see there's two peg holes on each side and you just kind of put it in like so. Um, I'm not going to show that off. I showed that off in the original original review and I'll show it off in the official video manual for this once I get back to the States and uh, have time to actually film it on my regular area. So I think that's it for the review. I want to just do a quick review of Terry Aegis Rally, the exclusive from Ocular Max for the 2017 TF Con here in Toronto. If you want one of these, he will be available um, th this weekend at the MMC booth. So come by and stop by there, say hi. And they will be highly limited, so make sure if you want one to get there bright and early Saturday morning. All right? I think that's all for today, everyone. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. As always, if you like the review, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Um, and if you want to pick this guy up, come by and stop by the booth. All right? Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a good one.